the policies that you need to adapt really are on the demand side. That is to say, um, why are these people, why do people want to move from, you know, Senegal to France or, you know, Kenya to the United Kingdom or whatever, or Turkey to, to Germany? And that's because they're looking for, basically, for a better life and better opportunities for their families and themselves. So therefore, it comes back to being a, basically a development issue. And so I think that the, uh, the and that's why I think the self-interest of countries that are that our donors, such as Germany, such as UK, such as the United States, and so forth, are not just humanitarian, but they're, they sh it, there's a self-interest there. And that is, you know, if we were to help these countries develop more, then they would, those people, wouldn't probably want to leave, and I think that in, in most cases, you know, and I've, you know, I, I work with people from from Sub-Saharan Africa all the time. I don't think anybody really wants to leave. I mean, I think they they leave because they have to. There are a number of things developed countries should do. One, their development objectives to developing countries should be strictly monitored. You know, <coughs> one of the reasons why people move, migrate from one city to the other, one from one country is. is when the money for development aids in the host countries and the receiving countries are not well used, rather they, are, they end up in corruption. Secondly, let them, let them have programs that can make the descending countries conducive for, their, for, for people so that people don't have a tendency of moving. You should know that even now, people that have moved over the years are not finding things easy in the countries where they are. People are looking for positions of going back home. <clears throat> but the question is, going back home for what?